perfect time to have you on. Uh, you made a TikTok video that I shared about this. A buddy of mine told me that he broke this down incrementally and said that Roger Goodell is in his ear telling him, hey, Chris, I don't care how you hit the quarterback. Is this true or not? He sure did say that. I just, just said it at the end. Look, bro, yeah, I, I think I think that is fireable. Like I, really? I have lost all respect. I didn't have any respect for Roger Goodell anyway. He's a fucking jerk off. And if he was on this show, I would tell his seventy million dollar making ass a year that he is a fucking jerk off. He, the way he takes care of ex players, the way he runs the league is jerk off city. This. I don't care how you hit the quarterback hugging Chris Jones like this after the game, like he just won a fucking huge bet or something. You're the commissioner, motherfucker. Like you are the commissioner of the NFL. You're not supposed to have a horse in the race. You just want the league to do well. You're not supposed to be down there hugging and kissing everybody. I despise the hugs on draft day. I hate it. I think it's fucking so fake. The same guy he's hugging is the same guy he's going to find. The same guy is going to suspend for nothing. So, you know, I personally think Roger Goodell is the biggest slap dick in sports. And this is just another prime example of him not knowing and understanding what his job is and being a super fan while he's also the commissioner. And that is not good business. This is a terrible look. And for him to say, I don't care how you hit the quarterback. All right. So then look, if I'm every other NFL team in, 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 in the NFL right now, all of the 31. It is now open season on Patrick Mahomes. Next year, I don't give a fuck about personal fouls. I don't care about fines. If I'm playing for the Broncos, I am trying to fucking hurt Patrick Mahomes. I'm not trying to tackle him. I'm trying to hurt him. And if you don't like that, I don't care. The commissioner of the NFL just said he doesn't care how you sack the quarterback to a three technique who had 15 sacks this year who I watched pick Russell Wilson up in a game and DDT his ass and they didn't call the flag. I wonder why they didn't call it. Like, this is why I think Kansas City has a fucking edge in games because of shit like this. And if you're too fucking blinded by chief goggles to understand what you're looking at, then you're part of the fucking problem. This is a massive, massive problem. It makes me not want to bet on games anymore. It's making me not want to watch the NFL. I'm serious. I will watch college football for the rest of my life and I will, I will turn the NFL off if this continues. Hold on. It's an interesting point you make because I never thought this deep into it. I don't get into the conspiracy part of it. You've been saying it for six months on this show. Nate Burleson came out. Apparently, I did not even know this. He comes out. There's a video out there. I'm trying to get it uploaded. He basically called the game out verbatim uh, six hours before the game. And yeah. his best his best friend bet $16,000 on the game. Exactly how what he said and won. $1.6 million. Is this real? Yep. And look. Nate Burleson came out and basically said. Let me see. I bet on one man. I would bet on Andy Reid. I do believe he is going to coach his best game that we've ever seen. It will be creative. It will be fun. It will be explosive. I have the Chiefs winning this 38-35. First wow. one. Now, yeah, Patrick Mahomes will be MVP. 38-35, <laughs> Patrick Mahomes MVP. Yep. Um, I, look, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm just – the game was awesome. I don't think you can script football. I don't. But I do think you can script the refs. And I do think you can have the power to tell the refs to get involved when they shouldn't be just like they shouldn't have gotten involved the other night. Like just, I, if you want to call it a hold, okay, whatever. But they didn't need to make that call on top of the fact that the ball was 15 yards overthrown over his head. 